Hello, welcome to Spartan News and with your news update for January 18th, 2018. I'm Honda Carter. And I'm Tierra Riddick. One familiar face on Grand River Avenue closed and another is planning to shut its doors at the end of the month. At 7 a.m. on Thursday morning, the 7-Eleven on the corner of Grand River Avenue and Vogue Street closed. Along with its neighbor, Giorgio's Pizza, will close on January 28th after 15 years. It's all because of a reconstruction project called The Hub Project. On February 1st, the buildings will be demolished and construction will begin. Ten floors of 347 apartments and 12,000 square feet of ground-level commercial property consisting of three retail spaces will be built. Giorgio's and 7-Eleven will occupy two of those spaces, but 7-Eleven will be under a new owner. As of now, the third spot is still up for grabs. The project is expected to take a year to complete and reopen in summer 2019. A meteor the size of a cargo van shot through the sky on Tuesday and landed in southeast Michigan. Witnesses said it looked like a flash of lightning and sounded like thunder but the impact of the meteor felt like a 2.0 magnitude earthquake. Many southeastern Michiganders are wondering why scientists didn't see it coming. For pictures and video of this rare experience, plus more information, visit the Spartan Newsroom website. Today is the third day of MSU and USA Gymnastics Dr. Larry Nasser's week-long sentencing in Ingham County. So far, 50 women have read their statements to the court and 51 are still left to tell their stories today and tomorrow. Many victims have said that MSU should have stopped Nasser and his years of sexual abuse. Nasser is already sentenced to 60 years in prisons, but prosecutors are asking for a sentence of up to 125 years. Snow, ice, and record low temperatures closed highways, delayed flights, and canceled schools across the south on Wednesday. In a corner of the country where drivers are ill-equipped to deal with wintry weather, many cars slid off the icy roads. At least 10 deaths have been reported in connection with the storm. That's all we have for today. I'm Tierra Riddick. And I'm Honda Carter. Thanks for joining us.